Hey everybody, it's Brandon, the Weekend Cruiser, where I go on a weekend cruise just about every weekend. And this weekend, I'm on a special weekend cruise. I flew to the port of Los Angeles. The navigator of the seas with Royal Caribbean started doing sailings out of the port of Los Angeles. And so I am here on their weekend cruise. So weekend cruises are not just a Florida thing. You can find them on random itineraries all around the world. I decided to skip on over to California to get on a weekend cruise. For this particular cruise, I am staying on the ninth floor in Junior Suite 9238. Wanted to give you just a quick tour of what that looks like. It is gonna be all the way forward, right by the elevators. So I think it's about two doors down from the elevators, but it is a great location on Navigator of the Seas. So let's take a look and see what all Stateroom 9238 on the Navigator of the Seas has to offer. So coming into the stateroom, the first thing that I noticed when I walked into this room, and I walked in um, during the day, it is nighttime outside right now, was how bright this room felt. So if you'll notice from a difference from my traditional videos to here is the sitting chair that's there on the left is a, a newly upholstered, beautiful blue color. You've got a more updated couch on the far right, and even the curtains and the flooring or the rug have been updated and you know significantly they're very clean they look great um, and it just makes the room feel so much more um, open and spacious if you will using these brighter and lighter colors so the setup is very similar to other rooms that you've seen me show on freedom of the seas but i'll still give you the rundown for it there are some differences so this is a good storage cabinet you see that i am you know, the recipient of a few bottles of wine and champagne that I've got to give away. You've got storage behind the shelving or the mirrors, I should say, which is, you know, a decent size. It's never too terribly deep. I always like to show you about how deep that is because it's, I don't really know what people store in there. I think it's more for makeup items of that nature that people would like to put in there. You've got drawer space down in the bottom. If you're looking for your room service menu, there's my wonderful computer, you're gonna find that in the desk. The ledge up here behind the mirror, or behind my laptop, is one of my favorite ledges. You see that I have loaded it up with all sorts of stuff. I like to keep my work workspace fairly clean so that it doesn't feel very cluttered. You do have some electrical outlets up here. The first thing you're gonna have is the channel announcement. I don't think I've ever turned this on for you all. See if it comes on. Oh, it's hoping to get some Christmas music coming through because I am on a Christmas sailing for you all. So you see that there's then a European plug beside of it. On the right hand side, you're gonna see there are two US plugs. I have my fancy little um, adapter in there that does two USB-A ports as well. And you're gonna have more shelving behind the mirror. One difference that I do like is that you move the safe over here. So it's a good spot, a little bit different situation or different safe. There's not a, a handle on it that you can pull, but it does pop in and out. Just make sure that when you're using this, you're punching in the numbers, you're holding it shut because if you don't, it's gonna pop out while it's trying to lock and you're gonna get an error message. You then got storage up above as well. This is where I store my mixers and elixirs. You're going to have a Samsung TV. This is the traditional TV. There are special plugs behind here, so I'll see if I can get those on there. So if you're looking at bringing, you know, an adapter of some kind, there are some HDMI ports here. Make sure you do bring a universal remote. That's the one key that I've heard people say they need is they've tried plugging those in, but they didn't have a remote to change the input. For some reason, there are no buttons on the actual TV. You've got your chiller down below with the, I call it the warning on the left, just saying, hey, this is not a fridge. If you wanna store medicine in here, let us know, we'll get you a real refrigerator. That is just a chiller. This one actually, the chiller is a little bit loud. Um, I actually looked in there to see if I could find a way to turn it off because I was hearing it. And I don't necessarily like that, that kind of white noise, um, but there's no power button and I couldn't get to the plug, so it stayed on. Speaking of power, so, you see my Lavazza coffee maker. You know that I love my coffee. You can see that it has been used. My stateroom attendant was fantastic. I was moving the Lavazza coffee maker to sit directly in front of the TV. He noticed and said, hey, we have a better solution. He 
brought this you know power cord adapter the legal one that they keep on the cruise ships so if you do need one of these they do have them for you um, he voluntarily brought this and it allows me to keep my coffee maker on the table which is great because I don't like keeping it in front of the TV especially if you want to watch the TV and I don't have to go back and forth with it the cord does not look the best in the world I mean I don't necessarily like having an orange cord hanging in my room but hey it gets the trick done so I am very pleased with that Again, we already talked about the chair here. It's a beautiful color. It is actually the same exact chair that you traditionally see, but it looks a little bit different because it has that um, bright fabric or blue fabric that's coming through. This is a sleeper sofa. So this actually pulls out and it doesn't do it the way that you think. I played around with it just to see how it works. The cushions that you sit on pull all the way forward and then that back part is going to then fold down to give you a really comfortable experience. I am currently, like I said, in the port of LA and it's been cold here, you guys. Like it has not been warm at all. So there was one day that I had beautiful sun coming in through the windows. I actually opened the couch up and decided to lay out in the sun on the couch because it's that winter sun. It's really low and it was beaming into the room. It was actually a really nice day once I, I figured that out. You've got the nightstands on the left and the right. The phone, as always, does come with a USB-A charger on the side of it. So if you need to charge your phone or keep it near you in the bed, you can do that. A king size bed separates into two twin beds if you need it to. Um, I always do keep it together. And the best part to any junior suite is the closet, the walk-in closet. Plenty of space in here to store everything that you need. Low hang in the back, additional low hang in the back, I should say. Suitcases and luggage also go in here just to get those out of the way. Switching over to the other side, you'll see that there is a full screen mirror. Hey, everybody. And we'll go into the bathroom. So I have been using my robe on this sailing. Um, it was very cold, so I went out to the hot tub for a change, and I decided to take my robe with me to keep me a little bit warm. You've got a beautiful mirror here. You've got two cups over here on the side, and this is gonna flow down for some storage down below, which I always use. And I'll pull the curtain back so you can see inside my shower. It is a good size shower change in temperature on the right hand side it interestingly has um, a stopper down at the bottom I'm not used to seeing those on ships anymore but that is how they're closing the drain and I always call this out you all probably get tired if you've seen more than one or two of these that ledge there is very high. Luckily, I've not hit my shin on it this time, but always be careful when you're um, getting into the tub. And just while I'm on it, watch out for the ledge here at the entrance as well. All right, let's see what the outside balcony looks like. This is going to be a good size balcony that they have here. I will say, actually, I take that back. It, it's a good size balcony for this ship, for a junior suite, I've certainly seen larger. The first thing you're going to notice is that it doesn't go that deep. There is not room for more chairs. So I've got two sitting chairs, breakfast table, and that is it. You'll see from some other Junior Suite videos that we have lounge chairs and there's more that you can do. But right now, that's not an option out here. There is not enough room. Come show you the night air. See if the camera will adjust. It is a beautiful full moon outside. It is gorgeous out here seeing the water reflect the moon. You're going to have your flybridge straight ahead. So that's how close you are to the front of the ship. One thing that I forgot to mention during the room tour was that this is a connecting room. And one thing I'll say is you guys have heard this before. I don't always like getting connecting rooms because there can be some noise bleed. Um, on other ships, it hasn't been a problem. On this one, I can absolutely hear the people next door. They're probably hearing me film this right now, actually. It's even weird. At nighttime, I can see the light from their room coming in under the door as well. Just something I personally try to stay away from. Granted, I'd rather be on a ship in a connecting room than not here at all. Uh, but just something that you should know if you are looking at getting one of those connecting rooms on the Freedom of the, or excuse me, Navigator of the Seas, 
um, there will be some noise bleed coming through. You'll hear more than you probably want to hear. All right, everybody, thanks for joining me on the Navigator of the Seas. Something different for me this time, so it's a wonderful weekend cruise exploring Junior Suite 9238. This is Brandon, the Weekend Cruiser, hoping to see you on a weekend cruise soon.